uh hello thank you for stopping by and i'll be honest with you uh, this is my first time growing these and these are broughton mushrooms basically so i actually got slightly delayed in putting this on top of the button mushroom and this is called casing mitty or casing soil uh the i will tell you very sh in very quick concise manner that this is actually not the nutrient providing element for this this is just this actually acts as a water reservoir water uh, is needed by every crop so does uh, mushroom need right so this acts as a water reservoir for the growth of mushroom so now i'll tell you three types of uh, casing mitti okay what kind of, and which one do i have this is the best option that i had so this is best why because uh, the mushroom grows really quick in this one and this is the most porous and absolutely perfect for growing button mushroom so the first one is when you get two three part two by three parts of gobar khad or cow dung which is at least 18 months old so every time i mention uh cow dung or gobar khad it has to be at least 18 months old mainly because it has a greater abs water absorbing capacity so the first is two third uh, part gobar khad which is cow dung one third part balwi mitti balwi mitti is something which is uh, again high water content absorbing kind of soil okay so second uh, type of casing that is there is cow dung balwi mitti and coco peat right three options one part of each now third type of casing which is there right in front of you is basically the best composition and again i told you mainly because it has higher water retention capacity and the greater the water retention capacity means you'll have to water it as less as possible but again you'll have to water it in the afternoon and then in the morning and in the night that is of course important so this one actually consists of two parts of cow dung again 18 months old one part of coco peat one part of uh, paddy waste ash so you got to burn that ash right then you have to uh, sterilize it by using bavastin and formalin and put it under that condition for 24 hours so that all the germs etc are nullified and they are killed basically so again i told you the main reason we use uh, the third formula is because of its high water retention capacity because the casing soil actually acts as water reservoir for growing mushrooms so now what i'll do is quickly put this in front of you while i try to talk and explain certain other things to you so as i try to uh put this in with a you know uh this container I had to tell you that you got to flatten this up right so I've already done it you have to flatten this up so that the casing soil that you are actually putting is basically falls on flat surface so as you can see you have to ensure that the unwanted elements are removed there could be at times there actually could be you know uh, pieces of brick in it so this has to be at least one inches in depth or length or height whatever you want to call it so it should not be more than one inch why because uh, of the fact that more than one inch will make it non-porous over a period of time so one inch basically is the perfect uh, depth for the casing soil that one has to use so just notice this this is something really hard so that won't make any sense so i'll just keep it aside i'm only using my hand to fetch this and as i said you have to ensure that it is at least one inches not inches but one inch basically and people what people basically do is i'll tell you one more thing before i water it a little so what people basically do at times is they they actually put this further down i don't know how much that helps because what i end up noticing with people is that actually creates no boundary for the casing mitti why i say no boundary is also because you gotta have some boundary while you're pouring it because this could actually fall down and 
create a lot of dirt around you so i think i have i'm almost done with this bag so yes i wanted to tell you that i actually bought a four bag so now i think i bought way too many for my convenience uh, because this is the first time actually doing this and i think i should have probably shown some so now you can see you can see just have a look this is just about one inch in depth now i should have actually had taken only two bags just to experiment because four is a little too much for somebody who's already doing some other work in life and then eventually has to contend with this and that's why i said i got a little late i think i have done almost i'm done with it almost i guess more or less i don't want to put too much in it because i have three more bags to take care of all of that so you have got to water it with a slight shower let me just bring that and show it to you so just have a look this is what you got to do so i hope you can see the shower so ensure that the mitti is not displaced from its position while you put water in it and you got to do it like every day twice a day in fact so i think i think i'll not overdo it because this is my first time as i said and i think the first back is done mm, and i'll just keep this one aside and if you have any sort of questions please feel free to one uh, to ask me uh, i'll be able to answer you i think the kind of experience i've had in the last 3 to 4 months so i'll close this video down i think uh, i'll fill up the other bags as well until then take care god bless and i'll see you very soon keep smiling